Hey guys, welcome to our how to create a digital edit in the style of Alex Grant. Um, so obviously to start off with, I have just gotten a picture that I'll be working from today, so a portrait image. So that's the first thing that you're going to need to be doing. So looking at uh, Alex Grant's work, we can see that it's obviously hand painted um, and it's kind of that double exposure glitched kind of uh, effect that we're going to be creating. Um, okay so the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to use the quick selection tool or the magic wand oh my apologies you'll need to unlock your padlock by double clicking it first then you're going to select using the plus the background areas and just to get rid of anything in the background and control D to get rid of your running ants. And then the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into filter and filter gallery. And we're going to have a play around with the artistic filters. So I like the look of the paint dubs um, effect. Now, obviously, you can see that when I pull the brush size up, we lose a lot of definition. So you want to try and keep the brush size um, quite low so I'm going to go for a seven and then if we turn the sharpness down we can see it gets less sharp if we turn the sharpness up it gets more sharp so you can see the definition so try and keep your sharpness quite high and your um, brush size quite low and once you're happy just click OK uh, I'm also going to go into image adjustments um, and hue and saturation. And I'm going to turn that saturation up a little bit. And I'm also going to go towards this pale blue section um, for the hue. Because if we look at Alex Grant's work, the faces of the artist are quite pinky and red. So we want to create that kind of warm tone. We'll go something like that. I'm just going to click OK. Um, now, now we need to open up a blank document. So you're going to go to File, New, and A4. Uh, double click that padlock again so you unlock that layer. Um, go back to your image, and now you're literally going to click and drag this into this document. Control T to be able to scale and transform, or edit, transform, and scale. Make sure you hold that Shift key down to scale correctly. And I'm going to fit it so that it fits roughly about the width of my image. Uh, and then next, we need to be adding in a, another layer to create this kind of multiple exposure kind of look that Alex Garand does create in their work. So going back to this, I'm just going to drag that photo layer into the new layers panel to duplicate it and I'm going to turn the opacity down to about 50 and I'm going to move it so we can see now there's two kind of um, images there so we're kind of getting that effect that Alex Grant portrays. Um, the next thing that you might want to do is have a play around with the brightness and contrast just to bring that strength in. So image adjustments, brightness and contrast. I'm just going to whack that contrast up and I'm going to keep it nice and where the brightness is in the center to improve that intensity. So we're kind of getting there. Now, the last thing that you'll need to do, going back to an Alex Grant image, um, I've already opened one up in Photoshop separately um, because we're going to be using the colour picker tool. So this the eyedropper tool, sorry. So clicking on the eyedropper tool, I'm going to select the background colour from one of Alex Grant's images direct. Going back to my image and making sure I've selected that background layer, I'm just going to go to the paint bucket tool and I'm going to fill in that background. So now we're starting to really get a similar kind of look. If you're not quite happy with the colour, you can always go back to the eyedropper tool and change the colour in accordance. It's up to you.
The next thing we need to do is we need to focus on the background um, kind of paintbrushy technique that Alex Grant uses. So that's what we're going to be focusing on to create um, this kind of rusticy artistic look. So going back to our image, um, we're going to be using the paintbrush tool. And at the top here, you can see that you can select different types of brushes. And there is also drop down boxes where we can have a look. Oh have a look and see what brushes there are. So just click on one, for example, and um, make sure that the color that you're using is a little bit lighter than your background color. So I'm just going to go a bit lighter and I'm going to just turn the size up a little bit as well. So we can see there that's kind of what brush we get with this one. Obviously, to undo it, you're just going to go Control Z on your keyboard. I'm going to look back at my image. And now if I look back at my image, I can see that maybe when I do the colour picker, I might need to opt for a bit of a darker colour to create this kind of background. So I'm just going to click that colour again, go back to my image and use the paint bucket tool. That way we might be able to get a better contrast when creating these brush strokes. OK, going back to the brush. And I'm just going to go back to my colour picker and I'm going to go a bit lighter. Back in, have a real play around with the different brush styles and see which one obviously you you like the most, see which one you feel like resembles these kind of brush strokes in the back. Have a look at your other drop down boxes. Um, turn it up there. So that one's a little bit better, a bit more painty. So I'm just clicking there, I'm not dragging. Trying to create this kind of painted background. And yeah, that's pretty much it. We can go back and add in a bit of a lighter tone if you wanted to. So you're mixing up those layers. And yeah, that is the Alex Gran digital replica. So if we look back at our image. Okay, thank you for watching um, today's video on Alex Grant.